helping make your life easier. Moms Every Day. We're glad you're joining us today for Moms Every Day, everyone. Tom Belmaggio is here with us today from Cabell Huntington Hospital, where he is the Sports Medicine Program Coordinator. Tom, it's good to have you back with us. Appreciate Thank it. Thank you very much. Okay, so we are talking about something that a lot of parents probably go through. Mm -hmm. You know, when you have to get your kids ready, you've got to go through the physicals, get, run, get ready for sports. And uh, we're talking about Athletic Training Month. Exactly. Is it this month? Yes, okay, it is well, March. What is it? So National Athletic Training Month is a, it's efforts put on by the National Athletic Trainers Association and what we want, we want people to, to uh, recognize what we do in the community as athletic trainers and, mm -hmm. and part of our job, a lot of people see us on the sidelines wearing khakis and polos, exactly. but, <laughs> but it, it goes beyond that. We're just not professional ankle tapers. We're uh, diagnosing, treating, rehabilitating athletic injuries and our scope goes a little bit beyond that too where we work with the healthy and active individuals too. Well, and I think a lot of people take what you do for face value. Like you said, you see on TV, you know, you're wearing the khakis, you go out and you help the athletes, but what you do goes so much beyond that. And, you know, so talk to us too, as far as your athletic trainers, what are the services that you provide there at the at the Medical Institute? So at the Marshall Sports and Medicine Institute, we provide community outreach with our athletic trainers. Mm -hmm. We're in eight high schools, four middle schools, and we also cover a prep school. So we're putting our athletic trainers out in the schools to help prevent and treat these athletic injuries we do baseline concussion testing mm -hmm. with these athletes so if they do sustain a concussion we can go back and, and look at those uh, baseline tests in order to make a return to play decision that is something that we hear a lot of nowadays you know I feel like more and more we're hearing about kids who are dealing with concussions so when you mention baseline concussion testing what I mean what do you necessarily mean by that what are you looking for yeah so it's a neurocognitive test that we're doing with these athletes they give us a baseline on their memory uh, it's not an intelligence test but it's more okay. um, uh, you know just just measuring their memory and and reaction time so we have that uh, on file, so if they do s sustain a concussion, we can go back and, and look at that again. Okay, uh, can is this a test that anybody can have? Do you look at any athlete that you're dealing right. with, or, or how do you determine that? Sure, so basically we have uh, three programs we use. Okay. We use IMPACT, which is kind of the gold standard, okay. and actually lately uh, the FDA approved IMPACT pediatric test. So now we're able to baseline concussion test kids from 5 to 11 oh, with wow. that test. Okay. And so we're not only uh, baseline concussion testing our middle school and high school athletes, but we can go well beyond that. We also use another program called C3 Logics, mm -hmm. which is an iPad base. Basically with that program, we're doing a neurocognitive test, we're doing a, a vision test, and a balance test. So it gives us a little bit more information. So you're looking at all different angles of this to determine if an athlete is okay to go back? Absolutely, and this information gives us uh, an idea on where they're at cognitively so we can make a return to play decision. Well, and that's so important too because parents know, I mean, when your kid gets a concussion, that's that's tough you know Absolutely. it's especially tough to return to sports it, it's scary and we want to gather as much information to make that diagnosis sure. and return to play so we don't want them to return to play with with a concussion and you know if that happens they can have a condition called second impact syndrome and obviously we don't want that because that could result in death what is that? I mean what is that uh, second impact syndrome is basically a, a brain bleed that, that could occur with a concussion oh. if you go back too sure. early okay so we want to make sure we take our time get the uh, the cognitive of rest they need and uh, make that return to play decision uh, appropriately. Tom, if a parent is watching and they're and they're thinking, okay, well, my child plays sports, you know, maybe they're mm -hmm. showing some of these symptoms of having a concussion. What can they schedule a test with you to, to go over this, or what do they yeah, need to well, do? Well, first of all, we can uh, we can. Uh, give them free baseline concussion testing at the Marshall Sports Medicine Institute. So if they just call us at 691-1880, uh, we can get that baseline concussion schedule or test scheduled. And if they do, uh, if a concussion does occur, we can bring them in and retake that test just to kind of see where they're at. Did you? I mean, you said this is free, so they can yeah, come absolutely. in. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, that's wonderful. Uh, you know, where where do you do these tests at again? If if they are interested? At the Marshall Sports Medicine Institute. Okay, wonderful. Well, Tom, thank you so much for joining us today. We really appreciate it. Thank if you, you very much. if you are a parent at home, you are interested in this type of testing, this baseline concussion testing. Like Tom said, this is free. They do it at the the Sports Institute with Marshall. All you have to do, just call them. We'll have their number over on WSAZ.com. Click on that Moms Every Day tab. You'll be able to find all of that information there. Thanks so much for joining us everyone. Hope you'll stay right here though. We'll be right back with more Moms Every Day.